Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. From today, I'm going to start a new project series of the cell book service using Monstack. First, I will give you the overview of the project. After that, we will start the implementation. So let's get started. Let's navigate to the VS Code. And I'm going to show you the structure of the backend and the frontend applications. As you can see, the VS Code editor where we have a Node.js application. This application is running on the port 5555. And as you can see, the structure of the Node.js application where we have a node modules. After that, we have a SRC package with the different folders like controllers, middlewares, models, routes, services, and the utils. After that, we have a main file app.js. After the SRC package, we have a .env file, package log, and the package.json file. Now, let me open here the React.js application. As you can see, the structure of the React.js application where we have a environments package. After that, we have a different pages, admin, auth, customer, and the header. Our React.js application running locally on the port 3300. Now let's navigate to the browser and let me show you the UI and the features of our project. As you can see, the auth components where we have a sign in and the register page. Now, first of all, I'm going to log in here the admin. We have created the admin account manually. As you can see, the console where we are getting here the message that we have admin account created successfully. So I'm going to log in here the admin. Let me add the credentials that we have admin at the rate test.com for the email and the password that we have admin. Now let's click on the sign in button. As you can see, it's navigating us to the admin dashboard page where the admin can see all the posted books. On the top, we have a drop down to filter the book. As you can see, the cards of the books where the admin can see the details of the book along with the information. We have a update and the delete button to update and delete the book by the admin. Let's navigate to the post book page. As you can see, the post book form where we have a different inputs like the image URL, title, author name, description, price, the drop downs, and the addition. Now I'm going to fill the details to post the book by the admin. Let me add here the image URL. After that, I'm going to add here the title. After the title, I'm going to add here the author. After the author, I'm going to add here the description. After the description, let me add here the price of the book. Let me select the type that we have biography. After that, I'm going to select here the condition like new and the addition that we have special addition. Now let's click on the post book button. As you can see, the notification we got book posted successfully. And after that, it's navigating us to admin dashboard page. Let me scroll down. As you can see, the newly posted book. Now I'm going to filter the book by type. Let me select here the type like science fiction. As you can see, we are getting here the search results. Let me select another type like biography. As you can see, we are getting here the results. I'm going to click on the update button of this book. As you can see, it's navigating us to the update book page. In the URL, we are getting here the ID of the book. Now, as you can see, the form of the update book. Now, I'm going to update the book with the updated price like 12. And I'm going to update the condition as well from like new to new. And the addition that we have, second. Now, let's click on the update book button. As you can see, the notification we got book updated successfully. And the book got updated as well. The price that we have to well the condition and the addition as you can see now after that i'm going to click on the delete button to delete the book as you can see the notification we got book deleted successfully after that we are getting here the updated books on the dashboard page now let me log out and i'm going to register the new customer so the name that we have john last name one two three email let me add here john at the rate test.com and the password that we have john before registering the new customer, let me open here the MongoDB compass. As you can see the scheme of our application where we have a different models like books, cart items, orders and the users. As you can see the user model for now we have only one document that for the admin. Now let me open here the books model. As you can see we have the list of books. After that we have a cart items model. At the last we have a orders model for now it's empty as well. Let's go back to the browser and I'm going to click on the sign up button. As you can see, the notification we got sign up successful. Let me log in here the customer. As you can see, it's navigating us to the customer dashboard page. On this page, the customer can view the list of the books. The customer can filter the books by type as well. Along with the information of the book, we have a button with the caption add to cart. So I'm going to click on the add to cart button to add this book to the cart. 
as you can see the notification we got book added to cart successfully now let's go to the cart page as you can see the book that we have in my cart after the book we have a total amount of the order at the last we have a place order button where the customer can place the order by entering the address and the description now let's go back to the dashboard page and i'm going to add the same book to the cart again as you can see the notification we got book already exists in cart let me add another book into my cart let's go to the cart page and i'm going to place the order with the address like 123 street new delhi the description let me add here please deliver as soon as possible let's click on the place order button as you can see the notification we got order placed successfully and it's navigating us to the customer dashboard page as you can see the nav link with the caption orders on this page the customer can view the placed orders where we have a tracking id name amount description and the placed at date now let me log out and i'm going to log in here the admin as you can see the nav link for the logged in admin where the admin can view the placed order as well so that's all for now from my side i hope you will learn a lot from this series from the next part we will start the implementation of the project if you have any confusion you can do comment thanks for watching take care bye